Okay, first up, the ground beef mixture that's going into this burrito. I have a pound of lean ground beef going in. I'm gonna start breaking it apart. And to season this, you could use taco seasoning, the kind that you buy from the store, it's already together. I'm adding a tablespoon of chili powder, a teaspoon of paprika, you could also use smoked paprika, that works. Here I have some minced onion, about a teaspoon, a half teaspoon of ground cumin, a teaspoon of garlic powder, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, and a splash of vinegar, a pinch of sugar, and one tablespoon of tomato paste. I will list all the ingredients in the description below, check there. Here I have one beef bouillon cube that I'm just breaking apart, and I'm just gonna give this a mix and cook through. You might need to add just a splash of water, but I really didn't need to, and here we are. The meat mixture is cooked. On to the rice. To start, I'm going to be using one cup of long grain rice, and I'm going to pre-rinse this or wash this in cold water. Once I'm done rinsing it well, I'm just going to drain any water, kind of give it a shake, and place it over a bowl until I'm ready to use it. This will allow it to sort of drain and dry. So here I have a quarter teaspoon of whole cumin seeds and 25 to 30 peppercorns. I'm just going to crush and grind this and I'm going to use a half teaspoon of this mixture. You could just use already ground cumin and pepper. So I'm also going to be using some sliced onion. The amount is up to your preference. This is just a little bit of onion slices. Here I have one large clove of garlic that I chopped and minced. I will be using two cups of water and one can of tomato sauce typically comes in eight ounces. I'm only going to use about five ounces of it. Here I have one tablespoon of chicken bouillon powder that I'll be using. You could also use one bouillon cube. And I'm ready to start making this rice. So I've preheated my pan over a medium low heat. I'm adding two tablespoons of cooking oil and I'm gonna to start toasting the rice over a medium low heat. Nothing on high because you don't want it to burn. So once my rice gets really fragrant and golden color, I'm gonna add the onion and saute that for about a minute or so. Next, I'm going to add my garlic combine and quickly saute because garlic does burn. Now for the ground cumin, black pepper, give that a mix. And I'm adding one tablespoon of chicken flavored bouillon powder. Combine that. And now I'm ready to add my tomato sauce. Again, the amount of tomato sauce that you use is to your preference and taste. I'm going with about five ounces. I'm going to add my two cups of water so just sort of give it a quick mix. And you'll want to bring this up to a simmer. I'm gonna actually put the lid to help it sort of come up to a boil. And once you see the water rapidly boiling, you're going to want to lower the heat to low. And cook this over a low heat for about 15 to 18 minutes and do not lift the lid. That's very important when cooking the rice. Once the rice is done, you'll wanna set it aside, keep the lid on for 10 minutes, then after 10 minutes, lift the lid and it's done. If you're serving this as a side, just fluff and serve. I'm ready to use this to put in the burrito. So for the soft flour tortillas, you definitely can make them from scratch like I did here. I was making the crunch wraps that I did I think it was during my Vlogmas series. I made homemade crunch wraps from Taco Bell and I made soft flour tortillas from scratch. You definitely can do that. I made these the burrito sized kind, but today I'm going to use store-bought. Hey, guess who's living her best store-bought tortilla life? Anyways, if you do decide to make them from scratch, I will link the crunch wrap video below and you wanna make sure that you just keep them wrapped and warm so they stay soft and pliable. Okay, next ingredient. I'm going to make a nacho cheese sauce, and this is what I've been making lately. It's easy. Here I have eight ounce block of American processed cheese. I'm going to use half of this sour cream container. It's about four ounces. A third cup of milk. I'm going to add paprika and onion powder to taste. One or two tablespoons of the brine from my pickled jalapenos. And I'm gonna start it off with half a tablespoon of unsalted butter. So I'm working with a low flame or low heat. Here in my pan, I'm adding the butter 
Now I'm going to add around a quarter teaspoon of paprika, an eighth of a teaspoon of onion powder. Let it warm through. This goes really quick. I'm going to add my cheese. This is eight ounces of American processed cheese. Here I'm adding half of this eight ounce container of sour cream, my milk, jalapeno brine, and just give it a mix, combine, and let it slowly melt. Nothing on high heat. You want this low and slow. Once everything is creamy and smooth, it's done. Okay, so let's go over the ingredients in this burrito, which is really easy to make. Here I have my cheese sauce that's super creamy and delicious. Here I have my Mexican style rice. By the way, Taco Bell's rice in these burritos, are it's I think it's just white rice. Anyways, here is the meat mixture. By the way, I think somebody ate some already. And of course, I can't forget the Fritos. Now I had the lightly salted Fritos, but you could use the flaming hot Fritos if you like that. I'm gonna be adding Cholula sauce to mine. So here is my store-bought burrito-sized tortilla. I'm going to just add some of the cheese sauce. And you can sort of build it and add the ratios of the ingredients that you prefer. I'm gonna go in with a couple of scoops of the meat. I'll add the rice, the Fritos, wrap it up, and it's done. It's really easy. And I like to do this when I have leftover rice. Sometimes I have leftover taco meat. It's great with leftovers to, you know, make a round two second meal out of leftovers. So here I'm awkwardly trying to roll this out or fold it up. And this is another reason why you want to make sure you're working with a soft and pliable tortilla. Because if you're trying to roll this up and it's just kind of crunchy, it's going to break. It's not going to work. Give it a firm press and that's it. I'm going to cut in half, add some extra cheese, and I'm going to add some Cholula. By the way, for those of you that don't like eating sounds, please tune away because I am going to be crunching and munching and giving this a try. Love you guys. So be sure to check the description below for the ingredient list of everything I made today. I'll also link the individual videos for the cheese sauce, for the crunch wrap, and the Mexican style rice. So I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it and thanks for watching.